Okay, the other week when I was talking about the high bike that I had over in Bormio, I mentioned there was a way, a simple way, to find out the best fore and aft setting of your bike and knowing your measurements for that. The first day that I had the bike, I was really far back, really reached out. It didn't feel any good at all. What it was, and I overlooked this because I was too excited about getting up the hills and doing some epic mountains, the saddle wasn't positioned right. I had to move it a little bit more forward to suit my position. I had the height right. I knew 77.5, I knew that was correct in saddle height. I just didn't have the fore and aft correct. It made for a really bad experience. I actually got a bit of a niggle under the back of my knee there. Day two, we fixed that. Now there's an easy way to do this, without a plumb bob or a string and a weight or something like that, the easiest way to do this indoors would be a door frame. Outside, we've got this brick wall here, that straight line. So I'll show you the easiest way to grab your numbers from your current bike. I'm gonna use this side of the bike because I can see the center of the bottom bracket straight away. Now indoors, you do this up against a door frame. Outdoors, we'll just use this brick wall. So center of the bottom bracket and just pushing the bike up against there. Is that centered? That's not too bad. And from here, tape measure out and measure your seat setback. Now, this is actually a, a, a power saddle, so it's a short stubby saddle. It's actually about 30 mil shorter than normal saddles, but there we go. It's uh, 10 and a half centimeter setback, so that's quite large on that. So, if I had have been using this saddle on the higher bike, I would have been able to put that exactly 10 centimeters back and I would have had a much more comfortable ride on day one. Now if you had a regular saddle like the Roman, I think I can conjure up a Roman from just here, there we go, Roman saddle. If you have a look here at the same position, that's about, yeah, that, as I said before, it's about 30 mil forward. So this is dependent on the saddle you use. Most saddles will be about that kind of regulation length. So the power saddle is probably not the best one to show you the example with, but the method still remains. Find an edge, center bottom bracket, push your bike up against it and measure it from there, and you've got your numbers. So wherever you've got that number, put it next to the number that you save for your seat height as well. So two important numbers. Now once you've got that sorted out, you can look at your reach. So let's have a look at the reach. So the two numbers we have at the moment are seat height, we have seat setback, and now we can also, now that we know the tip of the saddle there, center of the bars, tip of the saddle. That's also another interesting one to know. So for me that's 61 centimeters. Again, this is the stubby little saddle. But that's also some numbers to know. So that'll get you your sort of, that'll get you sort of your position triangle that'll make things feel a little familiar. Again, you'll be, if you're on a different frame, there'll be a little bit different geometry, but it will get you very close if you're on another bike at a spin studio or um, on a townie. You can just set it up, set all your bikes up the same. So those three measurements I find are quite comfortable for me. So just as a disclaimer, this isn't how to set your bike up and where to set it for you because everyone is entirely different. And if your seat height is this height, your arms may be different, your torso may be different. So there's a lot of different things that go into it. But grab the numbers off your bike that you're comfortable with, that you've got maybe from a professional fit, Knowing those, having those written down, really handy if you're out traveling and need to jump on another bike. There we go, thanks for watching.